More than 300 demonstrators have taken to the streets of Myanmar's second largest city, Mandalay, to protest the killing of journalist Ong Jo Ni, also known as Par G. The freelance reporter was shot dead earlier this month while in military custody. <laughs> We asked the government to take harsh action against Paji's killers. The president and the military who killed Paji must take responsibility for his killing. We're protesting because we need an investigation into Paji's killing. Authorities in Mandalay filed criminal charges against at least two dozen people who participated in the protest, accusing them of illegal assembly. They face up to six months in prison. Parji was a former bodyguard of opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The military detained him after he reported on clashes between government forces and rebels in eastern Myanmar. The defense ministry accused him of being an information officer for a rebel group and said he was shot while trying to escape military custody. On Wednesday, Parji's wife, Tandar, spoke to the media during an emotional press conference in Myanmar's commercial center, Rangoon. She dismissed the military's assertions that her husband worked for a rebel group. My husband was never a member of an armed group. His friends and everyone who knows him knows that he was a very gentle person. He was never in a fight. Tandar also told reporters that she wants to have her husband's body exhumed to get a better understanding of the cause of his death. The media in Myanmar were subject to harsh controls during five decades of military rule. In recent years, a reformist government under President Thein Sein has granted the media greater freedoms. But rights groups say the intimidation and arrest of journalists appear to be worsening.